everyone, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and it's Sue Emma and we have brand new Log Cabin foundation paper. You're going to love it. It comes in six inch or 12 inch size. The six inch works great with honey buns and the 12 inch works great for jelly rolls, but they both work great for scraps. There's lots of ways to make it and I'm gonna show you today how I make it and I'm gonna demo for you using the log cabin six inch size. So let's get started. You can make this block so many ways. You can do a solid on one side, a solid on the other, light, dark, or you can do it all dark, all light, any way you want. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it with lights on one side and scraps on the other. If you look on the inside cover, this is going to tell you exactly what size fabrics to cut. Now, if you're just using scraps, just pull from your scraps. I have already pre-cut all of my fabrics to this size, but again, if you're using scraps, you don't even have to cut down really if you don't want to. So the first step is to pull one of the papers off the pad. It's gonna come off really nice and easy. You're gonna need thread. I like to use a light color 2000 Aurifil. You will need an add a quarter ruler. This is really important. There are lots of versions of this ruler. I prefer the smaller one. And you're just gonna need a ruler and a rotary cutter. So let's get started. When you're sewing your block, you're gonna go in numerical order. So the first step is gonna be one and two. What I like to do is fold the paper right on that one and two line. So I've got a crease right here. I'm gonna turn the paper over. You need the dark on top of your one and you need it going over about a quarter inch. So right there, you want your fabric, I'll show you. I like to use a pen, some people use glue sticks, but I do prefer a pen. So I've got the number one, and I've got my fabric approximately a quarter inch from the line I creased, and your fabric is facing up. On the other side, you need a background. So here's my background, I'm gonna put this right side together, and then I'm just gonna put it right here. And then from here, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna stitch on this line. I'm gonna start stitching about a quarter inch away, stitch all the way on the line and a quarter inch past. And I'm gonna use a short 1.5 stitch length. I'm not gonna back stitch, I'm just gonna stitch and I'll pull my pins out as I go. So I've got my line, I'm going to turn this over and you're just going to press to the direction that it naturally goes and you're going to use no steam. So I'm just going to put this on and press. And that is how your first step looks. Now you'll turn your paper, so you're building your block face up on the opposite side of the paper. So then you're going to go to seam three, because we've done one, two, three. You pull your paper and you're gonna wanna crease it on the three and then pull your seam back. So now you know that's where your quarter inch seam should be. So then I'm gonna fold this back, add my quarter inch and trim at a quarter inch. I've actually already got a quarter inch, so I don't need to trim. So then I'm gonna put a light here and you can tell that I need a light because all of these squares are light. So I'm gonna pull the piece that I've already cut and I'm gonna place it right here, right sides together. So there you go. I'm gonna put two pins in and then I'm gonna turn the paper over and I'm gonna sew on the line three. I'm gonna start a quarter inch away, stitch all the way down and a quarter inch past. And I will be pulling my pins out as I go from the bottom. And again, really small stitch length. And then you're going to press the way it naturally goes. So I'll just press. So that was piece three. 
Now we're gonna go to piece four. So this is your crease for four. I'm gonna just crease it at the four. And then I will pull the seam up a little bit. Crease it at the four. This is a, a darker print. So now we're gonna add a darker print. And I'm gonna add that right sides together. Again, use pins in two spots. And on this, you can have freedom to do whatever. You don't have to pin, you can use a glue stick, you can do whichever method you like. Again, I'm gonna start a quarter inch away and go a quarter inch past. And it's not exact, it's just whatever you're comfortable with. And now I'm gonna come back and on this, I've got a bigger seam than a quarter inch. So I'm gonna fold that paper, put my ruler, and the beauty of this ruler is the lip just goes right against it and cut. And there are many sizes of this ruler that you can use. And then you're gonna press. So this block goes super easy and it's a great way to use up all of your scraps. So we just did four, now we're gonna to move to five. So I'm gonna crease at the five. That's a medium dark. So I'm going to pull from my stack, place that down, put two pins just to hold it in place and then we're gonna stitch on that line. Again, start a quarter inch away and a quarter inch past. And you can see that your stitch lines are now getting longer. So now we need to trim off the quarter inch. You can use your add a quarter ruler. The lip just goes right on there so you don't have to think and cut. Press the direction of the seam. And that was number five. So you're just gonna continue to number six. And I am just gonna keep doing this and we're doing the same method. So I am going to just keep doing my same method throughout. And I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing, same technique all the way around. And if you're making the 12 inch paper, it's the same exact thing. You just start with different fabric sizes. When you get to the end and you're stitching, make sure you stitch all the way off your paper when you get to these ending seams. So you can see that I've stitched all the way off. So when you get to these outer seams, just go all the way off the paper.
And now your block is done and we can finish it off. Now we have our block pieced for your six inch paper. You're gonna trim down with a six and a half inch square ruler. For your 12 and a half inch paper, you would use a 12 and a half inch ruler. You actually don't have to use the square ruler if you don't want to, it's totally optional. I like to do it and I like to use creative grits. So the first thing you're gonna do, I turn to the side and on the outside line, it says trim on this line. So you just put your ruler, your, you can either trim on all four sides or you can put a square ruler right on those lines and trim all the way around. This makes it super easy. So now you have a perfectly square block and at this point, you can either leave your paper on and piece it into your quilt and then remove your paper, or you can remove your paper now. That is all personal preference. I like to remove my paper now. I like to just pull it back and crease it, and it's just gonna come right off. The paper is, this wonderful paper, it's just gonna come right off. Um, and again, total preference. You can finish your entire quilt, or you can pull your paper off now, whichever one you like. And this paper is a, such a great way to use up all those scraps you have left over from projects. And it would look really pretty if you just did all backgrounds and did a really light quilt. Lots of possibilities with this. So that is how easy it is to pull your paper off. It just comes right off. And again, we've got log cabin paper in six inch and 12 inch sizes, and you can get it at the Fat Quarter Shop.